Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna try to make this really quick because I'm tired and it's 2 a.m. So guys, today I got some awesome Card Fight Vanguard leaks for you. They uh, span over the course of the past couple days, um, probably since the 29th to about the 1st of August. So we're gonna cover it and get into the stuff. Uh, the first leaks we got on the 29th were two dark irregular cards when the students retired from guard circle. You may soul charge one. Uh, when this is put into soul by an effect from one of your cards, if it's during your turn, one of your vanguards gets 10k. And then, <coughs> sorry, our next card, which is blood sacrifice. When placed on rear, put up to one card from your damage zone into your Damage zone or drop zone into your soul. If you put a card from your damage zone, put the top card of your deck into the damage zone face down. If you put this card, the unit from prior, soul into your soul, soul charge one. Overall, good unit. You guard with this. You use this to suck it to soul, and you bin bada boom. You're good. So that was the first set of cards. Following up, we got a twin sword. For Murakumo, he has the Excel gift mark, and he's not a bad rearguard card. When it attacks, if you have more rearguards than your opponent, until end of turn, this unit's power gets 5k. While your opponent calls guards from his or her hand, she, he or she must call two or more cards at the same time. Really good card, really good lockdown, and that's why it's a double rare. I honestly see a lot of people playing this card. Moving along to our next cards... We have some, we have the main grade three. Uh, my brain died, I'm sorry. Dueling Dragon Zabakuil. He's a grade three with 12,000 power and is has the, or has 12,000 power and it has the Excel mark. Uh, act Vanguard, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, search your deck for one Arrestor card, call it to Rearguard, Shuffle Deck. During your turn, this unit gets 5k power, and if there's a right and left Arrestor among your Rearguards, your opponent cannot ride a Grade 3 on top of a Grade 3 during your next during your next ride phase. Essentially meaning that, so as long as your opponent's at Grade 3, you're at Grade 3, you can completely shut down what they're doing. So if they get Gridlock and don't have a Gift Mark in play... You lock them down. Um, that's pretty solid. Going from there, we have right arrester. Um, grade two with nine K power. When placed, if you have a vanguard with dueling zab both in your name, and you control another arrester, rear guard costs counterblast two, place one card from your hand into soul. Choose one of your opponent's vanguards. This unit cannot stand during your opponent's next uh stand phase. So not only are you taking away their ride you're taking away their stand and draw power as well um so that's pretty solid and then if we go from there we have the left arrester when it attacks a vanguard if you have another arrester reward costs soul blast one during your turn this gets 5k power not great, but it does mitigate, and it does work well with the other two cards. From there, we have a bit of news on Phantom. So this is a very unique printed form of Phantom Blaster that is going to be released in Japan. We have no idea if it's going to be released in English. There's essentially going to be a 1,000 copies of these cards counting the 000 plus the 999 released randomly throughout ALL4 cases. It's going to represent art from 2012, and yeah, it's going to be a super expensive, super rare art. And here's another form of it, not that you can see it all that well. And then we have this lovely little witch from Shadow. Essentially, she's a Soul Blast one. Rest this unit. One of your one of your units gets plus 10k until end of turn. That's it, guys. That is all of the new releases I wanted to get us caught up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I've been the Soul Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.